want to do one last switch for you guys before I let you go back to the meeting and learn even more and teach even more. Um, is I want to talk about this concept of, of survivorship. Um, I am very pleased to have this problem, right? This is a good problem. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to talk a little bit, um, and Johanna, maybe start with you um, uh, about um, survivorship and um, how you think of it and who's a survivor. Yeah. So for me, these are anybody who's living with colon cancer, in my opinion, are survivors. Um, there's everybody has a different definition. I feel like I'm on the stand going through uh, the Secretary of Education, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but to me, what survivorship means is that you're living with cancer. Yeah. And ways that I can maximize quality of life for all of my patients, no matter where they are in their therapy of living with cancer. And so we've worked very hard, at least in my practice. And and Alan said that you have somebody like this too. Is symptom management. So we actually have experts in symptom management. They're palliative care nurse practitioners, but the way that we describe them to the patients are symptom management nurse practitioners who go hand in hand with us to really delve down into a lot of these issues that sometimes we hear as physicians, sometimes we don't hear as physicians, issues with depression, nausea, vomiting. How can we make their quality of life better? Because we've also seen that the people who feel better live longer. Mm. And so we have a lot more pressure for delivering survivorship care plans and for rehab and follow-up. Is everybody picking up on this and starting to provide information for patients? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's key to our practice from day one, actually, when patients shows up through the door. Uh, we want to treat them as survivors uh, on chemo. We actually, our program, we started just about a year ago. We have 170 patients already in our survivorship program for colon cancer. I believe these are the most con this is the most common diagnosis other than breast ca early breast cancer uh, in terms of su survivorship groups. So so yes, of course CMS it's a mandate that we have a plan and we do that. And the other thing we're we're looking very hard at is the surveillance. What strategies we should be using to do surveillance? When is enough? When have we done enough surveillance? I think that's another important aspect of it as well. Yeah, I'm really proud of an effort that our group has been making to pull together the various uh, uh, support groups that are out there and that patient advocacy yeah. groups under one umbrella. We actually met this morning, and the topic was how do we build a sort of unified, modular. Uh, uh, survivorship care plan for GI cancer patients because if you're a pancreas cancer patient there aren't that many that mm -hmm. meet the CMS <laughs> definition <laughs> um, but it meets our definition of yeah. you're alive and dealing with your cancer so uh, stay tuned in this space uh, we know it's a requirement it's uh, you know Medicare requirement meaningful use requirement um, but we really need to do a good good job with this